Hello, Covilla. Can I come? Bon dia, everybody. This is Kim and Chef PJ back here. Hopefully you guys had a great week. We had a lovely one and we'll catch up on a few things we did. I've been working all week because we have a lot going um, with an event that I'm helping organize in Dublin next month. Uh, so I haven't had a ton of time to film, but we did have some adventures last weekend. We went to the beautiful, beautiful hillside town of Monsanto, which locals in Portugal voted being the most culturally important village or the most Portuguese village in all of the country. Monsanto. It's beautiful. Uh, there's these just amazing views from the top. I loved that people lived underneath these huge boulders, the way they built it into the hillside. I can see why the Portuguese people themselves love going to visit. And besides that, we did a round trip to Lisbon. I had to return a rental car we've been using for the first little bit, and now in the market to find a nice little used car that we won't mind scraping up. Streets are very narrow in Kulia. Uh, we had a fantastic time this past week during the Carnation Revolution anniversary. It's actually their big, huge holiday here, the Freedom Day, 25 de Abril. for revolution where a bunch of army officers got together and said enough is enough and they ousted the fascist dictatorship we have another video uh, about that that is all about how music played a role in it in the revolution and that's why there's probably so much music here during the festivities there were lots of concerts going on we saw them setting up on april 24th and then that evening the, the entire town was full of people and there were concerts going on then there were midnight fireworks <laughs> Beautiful light show. PJ brought his earplugs so he, he could enjoy as well. Tons of people in the street. We got to see lots of our neighbors. And then the concerts continued till 2 a.m. and people were just in such a great mood. The next morning they were handing out carnations and then did a hoisting of the flag, which I got to go see. And there were some soldiers and, and uh, officials from the city around. Overall, a really great vibe. People just having a fun time celebrating the 25th of April. It's a very pacifist society here. And I really admire the Carnation Revolution. The army coming in was just met. Yes, they were rolling into Lisbon with tanks by tons and tons of locals just coming out and cheering them on and putting Carnation flowers in their gun barrels and even into the tank barrels. 25 de Adriel siempre. I have a long way to go with Portuguese. But anyway, April 25th always.
And besides that, we've been doing some glamorous errands. Let's go grocery shopping. So yeah, just in case you're American and aren't used to grocery shopping abroad, there are a few differences. Things like sometimes for vegetables and fruits, you have to weigh them and put a little label on the scale that's in the produce area. That's at the bigger shops. I noticed at the smaller shops downtown here, they're doing it for us. Um, other things, milk and eggs aren't refrigerated in general. Uh, so if you're looking for those, there's not like a big dairy section like there is in the US. It's actually just uh, with dry goods and like, eggs last longer that way. If you start refrigerating them, you have to keep going. If not, uh, they actually last longer than refrigerated eggs. So that's the way Europe does it. Portugal is no exception. And uh, yeah, it's great to have two different uh, grocery stores in walking distance. We can also head about a mile away and there are big kind of big box uh, Continente, Lidl, Aldi, big stuff like that. <laughs> Somebody's waving at somebody else, so they're all okay. Unfortunately, Robert is still back in the United States. You saw a little message from him at the beginning of the video. Um, he's dying to get here, um, but it will be a little bit longer that he's finishing work there. I'd rather be in Cavilia. Coming soon. If you're a regular viewer on the channel, you'll notice that I've been posting every other week now, which seems like basically what I can handle. I'm doing this in my spare time and uh, we have a lot going on, but we love the channel and it's really fun to get all of our comments and suggestions. So I've kind of switched to every other week because with working full time, it's a little bit tough to get all the editing done and I have a certain <laughs> level that I like to edit to. Um, I've been doing it for about 12 years, so I can do it pretty quickly, but still just even gathering and sorting all the footage and everything is something. And even recording these little sessions where I talk to camera because we already had the electricity go out once, there was a dog barking too much, and um, there were lots of cars going by when I was filming outside while walking. So <laughs> you never know what obstacles are gonna hit you. And um, I just don't wanna burn out too quickly. I want the channel to last for a long time. So we're gonna go to every other week. I will post on every other weekend. Uh, we've been taking little exploratory walks every day, making a point to get out and just try a new street we haven't walked around in our new town, which has always led us to find some kind of new thing that we didn't know about before. So we really love that part of exploring Kuvia. Yeah, it's a beautiful city. And even while we're out and about doing errands and things like that, we're just constantly appreciating this city, our new city, Kuvia. Yeah. Um, it is Got, it's got its own unique vibrancy that we really, really enjoy. It's not a huge city. We've lived in huge cities before. We know what it's like to be in New York or you know, big Asian cities or even smaller cities like Portland, Oregon, uh, Oklahoma City. Um, but I feel like this is the best of both worlds. You've got a lot of shops and restaurants, even a Michelin star restaurant we can walk to. But you also have the small town feel and community of people who have lived with each other for so long. Then you have the international students coming in with the uh, university here and all the access to mountains and villages and beautiful things nearby is just such a winner for us. And um, it's not, I'm not trying to sell it to you if you're American trying to come here or another type of immigrant coming to Portugal. It's actually very hard to find housing here and um, I would hate for it to get oversaturated because then we're taking away housing from you know, elderly people, things like that. But at the same time, we're, we're really feeling welcomed here and at home. Uh, people are extremely friendly um, and it's gonna actually be very hard to learn Portuguese because so many people speak English. So I'm gonna have to really discipline myself. Chef PJ's also been meeting lots of people. In fact, autismo is the way we say autism in, or autistic in Portuguese. So when I mentioned that to somebody, literally everyone I've talked to has actually said that they also have a family member with autismo. So it's been a really nice way uh, to get to know people here actually is mentioning that. And everyone's been so gracious and friendly with PJ. He's kind of getting famous around here. 
uh, people know him around because he's so friendly and loves meeting new people. We had a great uh, coffee with some friends, uh, new friends that we just met. They're actually the only other Americans in town that either of us know of. Uh, they've been here since last fall and with a nice coffee and pastel de nata with them and some of their Brazilian friends on Tuesday. That was lovely. And um, yeah, we look forward to meeting more people locally. Uh, we need to get out a little more. Um, just getting settled in and working has been the main, uh, the main focus, but hopefully we'll be out soon and uh, kind of doing some social activities. I know they have a lot of stuff in the arts community here, so we're looking forward to that. We did have one small door incident where Abby actually got locked in her room overnight one night. Uh, we're living in a historic apartment that just recently got renovated. Um, and our landlord is amazing and came over straight away the first thing in the morning with a carpenter who had to end up crowbarring the door open and then he fixed it a few days later. Um, but even with that kind of stuff, that can happen anywhere in any city in the world. Uh, so we don't, you know, take it too seriously or anything. Um, and it was a nice, fun time to hang out with our landlord and her carpenter. They're very cool people. I think I'm going to sign off now because that little dog wants me to. So please like, subscribe. Again, leave us a nice comment. We love reading all your comments. I like responding to all of them that I can. And uh, we'll hope to see you again as we're becoming Portuguese.